the idea is to gather some objective data on the performance of different rigs so we can make sensible comparisons between them rather than just relying on somebody's reported experiences. So we've set up these instruments so they can be moved from boat to boat so we can um, put them on different boats but they're still got the same calibration. We can gather data for all these different boats and then when they change their rig we can get comparative data before and after the change of rig which is going to be very useful. With a normal kind of wind, uh, wind instrument and log uh, I can get a sort of VMG but it's not accurate and it's not telling me everything. That would give me comparative data but it wouldn't give me um, absolute data on if I move, if I change X has it made a difference, plus or minus. In the case of this particular boat there will be a change from a fairly good junk rig to a wing sail rig. <coughs> Old fashioned junk rigs have got flat sails, heavy wooden battens, next step, next stage up start putting camber in the panels and we start putting hedges in the battens. Every stage we do takes a little bit more work and a little bit more investment and a little more time and skill and money to, <coughs> to, um, to do it. And so a prospective junk rig owner wants to know, is it worth it? So the more figures we can get on that, the better as far as I'm concerned. There are a few points which uh, clearly quite, weren't quite right, but um, that's why we're doing the same again today, is to try and fill in the gaps.
So, uh, Alan, how's the testing been going? It's gone very well, um, despite the odd hiccup which you expect on the first um, two boats that we're testing. But um, we got a good range of data covering all the wind angles, perhaps not quite the range of wind speeds that we would have liked because we haven't had the strong winds that would have given us everything. But um, overall, I think, yes, good range of wind speeds. You have an interesting contraption on the back of the boat. What does that do? Um, that basically measures the speed of the boat through the water uh, quite accurately. Um, inside that little hull is a speed sensor, which is an Airmark DX900, which um, gives an output to a hundredth of a knot, but is accurate to a tenth of a knot. Yes. Um, and it was, uh, it's also solid state, so it has no moving parts, and it uses uh, ultrasound to measure the speed in four directions, and from that it can work out not only the speed that the boat's going, but also any leeway that it's making. And you also have a, a sticking up bit on the back of the boat? Yes, that, that's the, the wind mast, and on top of that is a wind sensor, which comes from a French company, LC Cup Turds. Um, which is very similar in principle, it uses four ultrasound probes to measure the wind speed right. and again it's very accurate to accurate to a knot, um, to a tenth of a knot and um, to within one degree of wind direction which right. is better than most yes. wind sensors can achieve. Mm. And um, the <coughs> each different colour represents a different wind speed. Um, and uh, so the blue there is um, 18 knots of wind, and the green is 14 knots of wind, and um, you've got the various angles around the edge here which show the direction the boat was going in. And it's all mounted on a framework which is quite rigid, um, and it's important to get that framework aligned across the boat so that the towed probe is aligned along the centre line of the boat. Right. So it's not right. one degree off one way or the other, because you know, that yes. will affect the leeway. Yes. Okay. And what happens when you tack? Well, that's the, the hard bit really. Then we have to uh, um, change sides, so we have to move the wind mast from one side to the other and the um, probe in the water from one yes. side to the other. And it's turned out the probe is quite heavy, so it's quite hard work yes. shifting it, it across. Must be, must be difficult uh, in a strong wind. Yes, and particularly when the boat is bouncing around. Yes. It? So yes. We've, we've discovered that really you need to try and find a bit of flat water and, and heave to and slow the boat right down to do yes. that operation. Yes. So and you've been doing these tests in the west of Scotland? Uh, yes, and it's the rain's held off, which yes. is amazing, really. Excellent. Well, thank you, Alan. And, uh, Look forward to uh, seeing the results of the data. Yeah, well, we've got a bit of analysis to do, um, and uh, I'm going down to the Clyde now to measure another boat, and we will gradually build up a um, base of data for different boats. Right. Okay.